Hello there everybody, this is PGBiz. Um I just bought myself this TNC Aquarium Plant Nutrient. I bought it off eBay. Okay. Um, so I'll try it on my plants. EBay and plants. Right, today is the 26th of August. Yeah, August. <laughs> Right, so I'm gonna dose my plants and I'll come oh, back plants. in two weeks. Two weeks. To see if the plants are if it works. Works. Okay. okay. So let's do that. Do that. This fertilizer contains trace copper. Oh no! Of not point not not two percent. I'm a bit concerned because I have invertebrates in this fish tank you know I've got the shrimps and I've got neurite snails and they are how would you put it copper is toxic to invertebrates so I've been reading up on it, it said two meals a day and I'm not doing that so I'm just gonna Thing it two mil. Let me open that if I can. Just gonna use syringe just to be more accurate, right? Let's oop. Right, just. I hope it doesn't kill my snails. Uh, let's see what it, what it got here. That is over two mils. I'm just gonna put one mil and I'm gonna do it twice a week. So there's that. Apparently it's good for the plants. See the leaves look funny. Do you know what I mean? So they definitely need um, fertilizers. And I'll show you my other fish tank. I'm not going to be putting this on my other fish tanks where where I have I'm breeding my snails so here's another one I'm just gonna bring it one mil what does it say yeah should do hmm what's the That's where the pump is, I mean the filter. I hope it will not have a deleterious effect to my snails, because I love snails. They clean my tank and they definitely make my plants thrive. me now on to the third fish tank so this is the other fish tank that definitely needs fertilizers because as you can see the leaves at the bottom are coming away you know that means apparently I've read or watched the video on YouTube and partly that's a sign of there not being enough nutrients you know, there's not many snails here, so I'm just gonna try it in this. Just one mil would do two times a week. I don't know. I just wanna thing it on a low 
low dose just to be on the safe side it does say one doesn't it well no, no it doesn't what does it say I'm blind uh oh yeah there So that's that. I'll be back in two weeks. Um, well, let's just hope for the best. I'll see you then. Two weeks later. Finally, here we are, the second week of the trial, the 9th of September 2021. Now, as you can see here on our first fish tank uh, in the, li the dining room, uh, you can see that there is new growth on my Anabias plants. I have not seen this in quite a long time. And the plants look more green, although I can say that the algae are having a good time as well. Um, the um, inverts have not been affected, snails are thriving, they have not been uh, affected. And the shrimps are doing well, as, oh, and the shrimps and the shrimps are doing well. Um, I'm quite satisfied. I may have to increase the dose just to try out and see if there's more that can be, um, you know, the plants may need more minerals and they might be able to grow even more. Moving on to the second fish tank. Uh, this one is in the living room. It's a smaller fish tank. It's only three feet in length. And I've never had any problems with this one with regards to the plants. It's always been lush. But look at that. You see the roots coming out. And I have not seen that in a very long time. It's a very good sign. Uh, it appears that this fertilizer is working very well. Uh, the false kabomba are green. Um, the shrimps are okay. The fish are fine. The snails are thriving. I really love snails. And um, yeah, the runners on this plant is uh, going on well. So I'm quite happy with the result here. So I may have to keep the dose. Um, I may have to increase the uh, water change. We don't want a build up of copper which would harm the invertebrates or the fish. So. Um, there, they're all green. The water wisteria are doing okay. And the hygrophila plants, they are doing, you know, I'm quite, I'm really, really impressed with the result here. So, um, now we're going on to the third fish tank. Uh, it's not the best looking here. I may have to increase the dose. This is a four feet fish tank. Uh, never mind this, these ones because I just added them. So the original ones would be the um, uh, the cryptocorin, the brown ones. These ones, uh, the they they seem to have more leaves now. The algae are quite happy. I can see that. Um, but uh, so are the snails. Uh, that's a good sign. I'm always worrying about them. Um, although there has been a casualty. This is my snail um, breeding fish tank. I have some guppies in here. Um, now, what I have here, I'll just show you. Uh, this one in my hand is an elephant, a baby elephant snail. Oh no! My poor little poopsies! Um, it's, uh, you know, it's dead. Um, it's empty. But the other one, this other baby, 
Baby, this other young one. Uh, it's still alive, yeah, you can see the, the inside. I have managed to save five of them. I, I had ten, but five of them perished because of the fertilizer. They seem to be very uh, sensitive to copper, consider the, considering that it's only not 0 0.002. They were in this fish tank. You'll probably notice that the plants look, um, they're all over the place. I had tried to save what I could. Um, I only managed to save five elephant or rabbit snails, they call them. So I may have to look for another fish tank to breed them on their own. I tried to see if they would uh, take the bait. You'll probably see a... Uh, carrots there but unfortunately there's no survivors at all apart from the five so that's one take from this experiment uh, I know I get um, negative comments about my fish tanks how they're they look dirty and things like that but you know what it's just an experiment and um, it's my hobby so um, and I'm just sharing you my experience in my hobby. Uh, thanks for watching this video.
Hej.